Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us to discuss Falcon Store Software's Q3 2020 earnings. Todd Brooks, Falcon Store's Chief Executive Officer, and Brad Wolf, Chief Financial Officer, will discuss the company's results and activities and will then open the call to your questions. The company would like to advise all participants that today's discussion may contain what some consider forward looking statements. These forward-looking statements involve risks and uncertainties that could cause actual results to differ materially from the forward-looking statements. These risks and uncertainties are discussed in Falcon Store's reports on Forms 10-K, 10-Q, and other reports filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission and in the company's press release issued today. During today's call, there will be discussions that include non-GAAP results. A reconciliation of the non-GAAP results to GAAP has been posted on Falcon Store's website at www.falconstore.com under Investor Relations. After the close of business today, Falcon Store released its Q3 2020 earnings. Copies of the earnings release and supplemental financial information are available on Falcon Store's website at www.falconstore.com. I'm now pleased to turn the call over to Todd Brooks. All right, well, thank you very much, Clark. I appreciate that. And I'd like to thank each of you for you taking your time to participate in our call today. As we reviewed during previous earnings calls, we implemented four key strategic initiatives at the beginning of 2020. First, on generating consistent growth by expanding our industry-leading long-term archive retention and reinstatement product line and by creating new flexible and extensible data storage innovations that we believe will drive our growth over the next decade second then on increasing our commercial investment and focus to regions where we have demonstrated growth and the ability to win third on sharpening our commercial and r d focus related to our business continuity driven data replication products to ensure that we are focused on those use cases which are important to our largest and most strategic enterprise customers and then finally on delivering consistent operating profitability our strategic focus and resulting set of products are pointed at a market reported by verified market research to be currently sized at approximately $62.8 billion and predicted to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 15.5% through 2026. This growth is being driven by four factors. First, an explosion in the raw amount of data generated by various digital technologies, whether it's in the form of traditional email or documents, or application databases, digital audio and video, or internet connected devices. And then secondly, on the dramatic increase in innovative data storage options, whether they be located in a traditional data center, a private cloud, or a public cloud. And then third, the ever expanding need to retain data for lengthy periods of time to ensure legal and regulatory compliance. And then finally, fourth, the need to protect enterprises from various security threats, including ransomware. This dramatic growth in the capacity of data captured and stored is driving the need for enterprises to cost effectively, securely, and intelligently manage this data. In fact, according to IDC, up to 75% of data managed by an enterprise is directly related to routine data archive. Our technology allows an enterprise to leverage existing archive policies and procedures while ensuring the most stringent archive windows are met, data storage capacity is reduced by up to 95%, and cloud storage alternatives such as Wasabi, AWS, the Hitachi Content Platform, or HCP, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and IBM COS are available 
for improved data storage efficiency. I'm excited by this market and the business value that Falcon Store delivers to its complex enterprise customers. For the balance of today's call, we will elaborate on each of these four key strategic initiatives and provide a detailed review of our Q3 financial results. Finally, we'll open the phone line for any questions you may have. And if you'd like to ask a question, please use the question area within the webinar panel to enter your question. Then once we open the phone line for questions, we'll be more than happy to call on you to ask your particular question live. All right, with that, let's dive into our Q3 results. So the global COVID-19 pandemic has certainly been at the top of all of our minds. And as and our thoughts go out to everyone that's been impacted by its spread, the safety of our employees has been a top priority for us and is, as is ensuring that we are delivering outstanding value to our global customers and partners. Despite the uncertainty and disruptions caused by COVID-19, we are encouraged with our strong operating performance in Q3. First, during the quarter, we generated a 36.7% year-over-year increase in our global sales bookings. This increase was driven by an increase in sales bookings within our core markets of the Americas, MIA, Southeast Asia, Korea, and Japan. New customer wins in the Americas and EMEA were especially strong, and the majority of our global wins were within the healthcare, technology, and financial services industries. As a result, we generated a 67.9% increase in the Americas and a 28.8% increase in EMEA. In addition, our intentional shift to subscription-based offerings continues to improve as we delivered a 9.9% increase in annualized recurring sales bookings. As a result of our strong sales bookings, total gap recognized revenue increased year over year by 11.7%. Next, the decisions that we made back at the beginning of Q2 to implement a proactive expense reduction plan to hedge against potential COVID-19 business disruptions, combined then with our strong revenue growth, allowed us to generate $1.1 million in gap net income during the quarter, which represented a 214.8% year-over-year increase. The strong financial performance during the quarter allowed us to retire one, the $1 million short-term loan we secured back in Q4 of 2019. So all in all, I am very pleased with the results the team produced in Q3 and with the support and the engagement that we are seeing with our global partner base. I'm also excited about uh, customer and industry analyst response to our innovative store safe solution, which is driving strong new demand for Falcon Store. Despite our strong resorts in, in both Q2 and Q3, we continue to keep a very close eye on disruptions caused by COVID-19. First, to help protect the health of our employees and their families, we continue to ask the majority of our employees to work from home and will for the foreseeable future. Second, despite the disruption that many industries are experiencing, our customer and partner base continue to invest in the business critical area of enterprise data protection in which we target our solutions, especially within verticals such as financial services, healthcare, and technology. Third, as a follow-on to the successful Q3 that we delivered, our Q4 sales pipeline has also remained solid despite the COVID-19 disruption. Regardless though, we realize that the that future commercial delays may in fact result from a prolonged uh, COVID-19 disruption and we will adjust our operating plans as necessary to continue delivering positive results. 
As a reminder, our products are utilized by enterprises and managed service providers across the globe and address two key areas of enterprise data protection. First, long-term archive retention and reinstatement. And then secondly, business continuity-driven data replication. All of our products are software-defined, which means that our technology allows our solutions to be hardware, cloud, and source data agnostic, giving our customers maximum leverage of existing hardware and existing software investments. Our innovative integration into modern cloud-based technologies enables our customers to dramatically improve the portability, security, and accessibility of their enterprise data. This accessibility is key in our modern world where data isn't just protected, but it's also intelligently leveraged to facilitate learning, to improve product design, and to drive competitive advantage. Within the long-term archive retention and reinstatement segment, we've traditionally sold our Falcon Store virtual tape library or VTL solution, and are now actively marketing our next generation long-term archive product called StoreSafe. Both of these products deliver innovations that enable our enterprise customers to modernize their archive operation and infrastructure and dramatically reduce their archive data stores costs while improving archive security, portability, and accessibility. We have filed patents on these innovations and believe they can transform the historic challenges in archival storage and related data management. Within the business continuity driven data replication segment of our business, our products are our network storage server or NSS and our continuous data protection or CDP solution. Traditionally, these solutions have been available as standalone products, but can now be licensed together and used seamlessly with both our BTL and our store safe solutions. These products enable our enterprise customers to achieve superior recovery point and recovery time objectives while optimizing storage hardware investments through advanced storage virtualization. We'll continue placing our focus within these two product segments for the foreseeable future. As mentioned earlier, our first key 2020 strategic initiative has been to expand our industry leading long term archive retention and reinstatement product line by creating flexible and extensible data storage innovations to drive our growth over the next decade. As part of this initiative, we have now expanded our target go-to-market paths, and these now include the following. First, um, large IBM I enterprises with diverse technology platforms, which might include IBM I, Windows, Linux, et cetera. Next, then, on the IBM Protect tier replacement, now that Protect tier has reached its end of life. Next on the Hitachi Content Platform or HCP, storage integration and leverage. Fourth then on the, the Hitachi HPP or Sepaton end of life replacement. Uh, next on Dell, Dell EMC data domain upgrades. Next on the legacy data modern, or I should say legacy tape modernization. And then finally, one that we're particularly excited about is cloud uh, data storage and MSP data enablement. So as I mentioned earlier, these expanded go-to-market paths have proven effective and will continue to strategically focus in these areas as we go forward. Finally, and in summary, I, and I mentioned this in, in nearly every earnings call, but I'd like to, to reiterate, Falcon Store is unique. Our nearly two decades of technology innovation is unmatched by a newer entrance in the data protection space. And we'll continue to build upon this advantage. Our customers know 
that our solutions are powerful, that we provide one of the industry's most comprehensive set of solutions in the space, and that we are actively innovating to deliver capabilities that change the dynamics of archival storage and management into the future. At this point, I'll turn it over to Brad to provide a more detailed overview of our Q3 financial results. Brad? Uh, thank you, Todd. During Q3, we delivered 37% year-over-year total sales booking growth, despite the economic turmoil caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic. We closed the three months ended September 30th, 2020, with $4.4 million in gap revenue, compared to $4 million for the same period of the previous year, an increase of 12%. Gap total cost revenue for the three months ended September 30th, 2020, decreased 46% to $0.4 million, compared with $0.8 million in the prior year period. Total gross profit increased $0.8 million, or 26%, to $4 million for the three months ended September 30th, 2020, compared with $3.2 million for the prior year period. Total gross margin increased to 91% for the three months ended September 30th, 2020, compared with 81% for the prior year period. The increase in our total gross margin and total gross profit in absolute dollars was primarily due to our cost reduction efforts and our decision to stop selling hardware. Gap total operating expenses for Q3 of 2020 were $2.3 million, compared to $3.7 million in Q3 2019. Again, as we said last quarter, due to the commercial uncertainty in late Q1, we developed and implemented an aggressive expense control plan. This plan reduced our annual cash expense run rates by approximately $4 million, or 29%, and resulted in the furlough of 21 employees. Due to the business returning to a more normal trajectory in Q2 and Q3, we brought nine of these furloughed employees back to work as of October 30th, 2020. This conservative approach to expenses has enabled Falcon Store to show significant margin improvements. During the three months ended September 30th, 2020, we recorded a gap operating income of $1.7 million, compared with a gap operating loss of 0.5 million for the prior year period. We recorded a gap net income of 1.1 million for the current quarter, compared to a gap net loss of 1 million for the prior year period. Now turning to the balance sheet, we ended the quarter with cash balance of 871,000 compared to 1.5 million at December 31st, 2019. Networking capital, excluding deferred revenue, contract receivables, but including redemption value of our term notes, ended at a $501,000 deficit, an improvement of 2.2 million from Q2 2020. As we mentioned last quarter, we applied, the, applied for the payroll protection plan loan from the, from the Small Business Administration and received $754,000 in May of 2020. We have applied for forgiveness of the full amount in October of 2020 with the Small Business Administration and expect this amount to be forgiven. We closed the quarter with 871,000 in cash and cash equivalents, accounts receivable gross of any reserves of 3.8 million, accounts payable and accrued expenses of 2.8 million, and deferred revenue of 6.1 million. Our $1 million note payable to Hale Capital and ESW was paid in full in September 2020. The company has weathered the COVID-19 well so far, and we believe we are well positioned for a strong Q4 and a strong 2021. Pat, I'll turn it back to you now for final comments. All right. Well, thank you, Brad. Appreciate that review. And in summary, you know, our thoughts do remain with everyone as they manage through this unprecedented impacts caused by COVID-19. We at Falcon Store will continue to do what is necessary to protect our employees and to successfully operate against our key strategic initiatives throughout 2020. At this time, I'll ask Clark to uh, begin the question and answer session. Clark? Yeah, thanks, Todd. Uh, if anyone on the call would like to ask a question, just uh, type it into the little question pane um, on your screen. If there's something you'd like uh, a little more detail about, something you'd like Todd or, or Brad to discuss, we'll give it a, another 10 or 15 seconds and see if we get any questions. All right, great. Okay, doesn't look like any questions today. Um, I'm gonna turn it back over to you, Todd, to close it up. 
All right, well, thank you, Clark. Appreciate that. And once again, thanks everybody for your time today. We appreciate you, you dedicating a few minutes to spend with us. And we look forward to talking again at the um, here in another couple months. Thank you. Goodbye.